my story earlier I said Michaels had some sublimation tumblers so I bought two they only have the 18.5 ounce and the little bitty wine tumbler ones they're no more than $9.99 with my discount and my little voucher I think I paid $5.20 so that was good I had a voucher and I get 30% off because I work there. So, I bought two. Might just sub on one. I was going to try to do a wrap tumbler template thing. Um, my homegirl Tori tried to send me her template. It did not work. It's not wrapping around like it should because I wanted to do like a full um, wrap tumbler. And maybe I'm doing something wrong because a couple of the reviews said it was good. So, I'm going to keep it simple. And I'm, I got an image of my choice. And uh, this is the Honestly Speaking sublimation paper. And it got lines through it because of my printer or something. I don't know what I did wrong. But I'm just going to cut these little bitty images here. Nothing fancy. I just want to see how to uh, print onto the tumbler, pretty much. So, I got my design, which is Life Lessons, which is what's on my shirt. It's like Life Lessons with the praying hands. A lot of y'all seen it. A lot of y'all have not. Width and height, I ain't even do that. I think I got it down to like two, two width and probably two height type situation. I won't try to do nothing really big because it's like rounded, tapered. So... I did not wash the cup. I should have. So, wash your cup. I'm going to use my Cricut mug press that Mama Gloria got me. And it does have a sticker on it that says sublimation. So, that's a good thing. So, that way you won't get them mixed up with cups. Working with cups do not work. So, the cup must say sublimation ready on it. If it does not say that, you don't have a sublimation cup. If you look at the very bottom, it also says sublimation on the very bottom. So make sure you look for that as well. It'll, it'll look like that. It says uh, make market. It's a sublimation tumbler. So if it don't say sublimation on the bottom and it does not have this blue sticker on it, it is not a sublimation cup. But Somebody probably pulled the blue sticker off, so make sure you read the bottom sticker, and then it should say sublimation. Now, like I said, wash your tumblers. I didn't wash mine. I'm just trying to wipe my finger, fingerprint itself of it. And I'm going to get some double side, not double side tape, some heat tape. This is the Cricut brand heat tape as well. I'm just cut a little piece or two off here. And I might have to stick the tumbler upside down inside the thing here. Okay. So I'm just put my image here. I kind of want to put it farther down for it and go inside that little cup thing, but we're going to see. This is my first time putting a tumbler in here, and a couple people did say the tumbler does work. You probably have to do it a little longer than you probably do um, anything else, but I don't know. First time doing it, don't quote me on nothing. If you don't like what I'm doing, don't watch. Hey, so I'm be like, it ain't made for that. I don't give a fruit cartel. A lot of stuff ain't made for it, and we do it anyway. Just gonna tape it on both sides. I 
I don't know about y'all, but I like I like that cricket heat tape. I don't know why, but I like it. To me, it's better than any tape I have. Well, I only tried like the little skinny tape from Amazon. I like this one for some reason. Now, I didn't put no extra paper down because her paper don't supposed to have uh, butcher paper in there either. It don't bleed and all that stuff. So, we're just going to stick it in there. Yeah, I might, have to, I might have to bring one of them down a little bit. Damn, I'm going to quit. It might already have a mark on it. Jeez. I'm just going to bring that down a little more just because I want it to fit. Okay, so hopefully don't let it burn up. Yeah, bring that down some more too. Okay. So we're just gonna let that cook. And if it does work out, I'm gonna get the hell from beside it because I'm scared, I ain't gonna care. So we're just gonna let it cook until the time go off. Bags and shit from around it. So we're just gonna watch it, honey, and we're gonna see how long it take it to cook it. Do anybody know how to budget? I need to go watch me some YouTube videos on how to budget. Because I don't know how to budget. I need help budget. I know people look like it's simple, but it's like uh it's really not simple. It's, it's um, I already almost threw it with just on a notch. I guess it got too hot. So. Should I peek or should I just let it go a little longer? I'll we'll just peek. Oh, well, it, 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 it did it within the time it said it would. Now, Certain areas look a little ghosted because it didn't get that area. But it didn't, it didn't take long at all. Yeah, it's a little ghosted. It's a little ghosted. Maybe if I would have left it on just a tad more down in that area or something, it wouldn't be so ghosted. It doesn't look bad. And it was pretty quick, you know? So, I think they cute. I don't know why I ghosted like that, though. But I will try my other one. And do something else different with that. I just want to see what the supplement. And I ain't going to waste my other tumbler until I figure out how to wrap it. And if I do figure out how to wrap it, then I do the rest. But this is it so far. And I put it farther down on the tumbler because of 
how I had to sit in the mug first. So yeah, y'all make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about the cup. And yes, I know it ain't supposed to go in the mug press, but it still got the job done. I just wanted to see what's it gonna put the image on there. God have a blessing. God will increase. God Welcome will increase. back, best uni crew. It's your girl. What? You know I got mine. How you gonna call yourself a rapper and you ain't got no UV resin? Got mine. This is Creations by K Aisha, and I got my best uni resin. It's the bomb.com. This is Rougie Crafts, and I use the best uni resin. Ooh. Yes, I mean. Tracy No Cal. Passionately intrigued arts. I got my best uni UV resin. Thanks. Hi, I'm Ada Z Crafty Shop, and I use the best uni UV resin. Okay. I'm 755 Media, and when I'm crafting, I use the best uni UV resin. Yes, I'm T. You like button for you, girl. I'm nosy. I just want to see. Who you know? Look at that. Who you know? Hi, I'm Nicole from Precious Pieces. I have my best uni resin. Thanks. I'm accessory, okay. and I got my best uni UV resin. Yes. I'm C Arts Custom Creations, also known as SACC, and I love using the best uni resin. I'm E with the baby's booty, and I love the best uni resin. Yes. I'm Dorica from That to This Creations, and I you you know the best uni resin. Told y'all that resin gonna make it do what it do, baby. Kool -Aid. Ice in the glass, Kool-Aid. Kool Hi, this is Karen, this truck owner of T Create Custom and Sweet Secrets LLC. I use the best uni resin. Woo. <laughs> no gap. Hey y'all, I'm Patrice with Craftable Things, and I'm here to let y'all know that if you don't have the best unis UV resin. You don't have the best resin, so you definitely want to yeah. get you some. Who you know? Ah, uh, wait. Uh, to the blue, what's going on? My nanny used the best uni resin. Hi guys, I'm Marilyn with Making with Marilyn. I just ordered some best uni resin, and you should too. Won't you know I appreciate you? Yeah, I have a blessing.